shit. Quibbers. Sticks. He... How? How did I get here? I was in my laboratory, and Barryman asked to talk to me. No, that was ten years ago, my old friend. Can you stand up? Oh dear. I'm in pain. I'm in terrible pain. I'm bleeding. Manfred? <sighs> yeah, I'm here. I once knew a Manfred very well. Charming lad. But he's dead, I think. He killed himself. Hmm. By my ancestors. I... Uh, I think I'm dying too. Although... I don't have the slightest idea of how it happened to me, or why. It's stupid, isn't it, not to remember how one died? Who knows? It may be better. It wouldn't have been very nice as a souvenir anyway. You see, my brain is... Yeah, yeah. It's unhinged. Sorry. The one who looks like you. He asked me how to reach the heart of the tree. He was nasty. I didn't have any choice. The spy system I built for Barrymen. One of these air ducts leads to the World Tree? Yes, of course. Barrymen needs to listen to what's happening there. So that was it. The secret that Styx hoped for. I... I don't even remember Manfred's face. It's strange memory, isn't it? We would like to choose the memories that remain and those that disappear. But who cares, since I shall now join him. Goodbye, my friend. Maybe we'll meet again in another life. Another life. That would be nice. Farewell, Quirberus. Say hello to Manfred for me. Quirberus. Poor old fuck. Maybe your life wasn't so bad. Repeating the same experiment day after day in your stinking lab. Never knowing why or who for. Of course you're better off helping me. Haven't I always said that? Ah, no! Not you again! Leave me alone, Sticks. Shut the fuck up! I forbid you to speak in my head! It's unbearable, isn't it? Imagine how I feel, suffering more than two centuries of listening to that. All the nonsense that passes through the minds of thousands of idiots. It's like a tide of trash that permanently washes up inside my head. I can't take it. But I've come to put an end to this ordeal. And I will owe a part of my victory to you. I admit it. Shut up! I don't belong to you, you hear me? Of course you do. You carry my mark. Oh, and by the way, thank you for finally extracting the information I was looking for from the skull of that old half-wit Quirberus. I almost lost my patience. <laughs> Fuck you, Sticks. I'll have your skin, I swear it. Focus on my voice. Don't listen to Sticks. Come to me. Focus. Ah, now it's the fucking elf. Come on. Anybody can just wander into my skull and have a shit? I'm not gonna be able to take this much longer. Makes you want to bang your head against a brick wall. Have courage. I am waiting for you.
sorry that we did not manage to save Querberus. It is a perilous situation, but you can still get there before Styx. I'd like to, but how? Reborn. Aeron is in the process of seizing power. The humans are locking us up inside our own incubator, where the empty cocoon is to be found. Aaron has the key. Take it from him. Free my kin, and we will do everything in our power to slow down Styx. Because only you can defeat him. It is in the Amber. Sounds good, Soothsayer. But why don't you kill him yourself? We have all been too closely linked through the Amber and for too long. We cannot strike a fatal blow against him without him being aware of it. But you, Reborn, he will be unable to listen to your thoughts. I don't even know why Styx wants to reach the heart of the tree. Maybe I'll find answers there. But crying out loud, very well, I'll free your elves. But you gotta swear that not only will you get off my back, but also that you will never speak inside my head again. Not a fucking word. I got this burning desire to think my own goddamn thoughts. You have my word. Companions, it is with a heavy heart that I take on my father's mantle as governor of Akinash. I had hoped for other circumstances than this odious murder, but my desire to bring order to the atrium is more fervent than ever. You have our full support, Brother Aaron. Thank you. My first decree was the introduction of a curfew for the elves. My second decree will be to pardon all smugglers who are in our jails. In these difficult times, our race must close ranks, and a human convict will always be worth more than an elf, even disguised as an ambassador. My brothers, it's up to us, the superior race, to enforce our rights in the natural order of things, and to combat degenerate species. Bravo! Well said! You, my friend. You really have some paying back to do. Yes, you do. Good. I shall take the first airship to go and swear allegiance to the Emperor, and formalize my title. Upon my return, the elves will be confined to the distillery. The area will remain locked and will be overseen by one of my agents. He alone will have access in my absence. Is that clear? An agent? I must know who it is. He must have the key. <laughs> 